Hello and welcome. In today's session, uh, we are going to cover the customer master in Oracle R12. Uh, my name is Rahul Fatak and I will be walking you through the creation and maintenance of customer standard. Having said that, let me log in into the Oracle, Oracle instance. In this case, this is our instance, Oracle R release 12.2.4. So it is a brand new release of Oracle. So I am going to access a customer master through one of the responsibilities. So in this case, I'm using order management super user. And I'm going to the customer standard. So you will notice that in this case, uh, the customer standard is now changed from R11 to R12. And in R12, we have a brand new HTML interface for maintaining our customer standards. So the old forms interface is gone. And now this is what we have, an HTML interface, which is very much user friendly. So having said that, let's get started with creating a new customer. So in this case, you can create a customer organization and then click on button create. Then you pick a name saying that, uh, let's say Zune Barry. Let's pick a name called Zune Barry INC. That's what is required. And then if you can see, instead of multiple forms, you can enter all the preliminary information on the first page itself. So you create a customer name and then you create a customer account. Remember this is a new TC architecture. So highlight is party, account, location, sites. So once you have a customer information, then you can account for that customer. And then um, in that you would enter, let's say, a sales channel. And in the sales channel, I'll pick so direct sales. So I would choose direct. And then as you see, the sales group name is mandatory. These are the additional sex fields we have on the account. So let's pick, uh, let's say this guy is doing business uh, in APAC, even though it's in the US operating unit. So let's figure that as APAC and then none of the other things are mandatory, but uh, if in your business needs, if you need to fill in this additional uh, information, you can um, put in values for ODB customer, PKMS, dropship bill too, so you can fill all those values. So then let, let me put in an address. I'm going to save Prairie Lane. And I am going to select City of Irvine. And then County a little blank. I just want to see, I'm going to show you how it pops up on your county. 92618 is a zip code. That's that. And then now, if you see, we have created an account site, which is nothing but the address. And then what we are going to fill in is the flex fields for the site. So these are the address flex fields. So in this case, we just uh, leave everything as is and then uh, uh, select A, send flag. Let's uh, uh, select ASIN and flag. Let's let's put a value of yes. So just let's select this guy, and then back of there is as five. Okay. So those are two values I'm going to fill in on the flex fields. Then the next thing which is important, we you have at least one build to. So now I would select like IRV build to as the location name, and then these are again the flex field on the uh, build to site. So there are site level flex fields. In this case, uh, I would just leave everything blank. If, you have, if I want to enter, I could enter values for all these fields, but let's, for the demo purposes, let's keep them blank. And then I would say save and add details. So it created a new customer called Zoonberry Inc. And then it has all the details it requires. So 
So let's click on save. So it created a new customer called Zunberg Inc. And uh, this is the address it has seven. If you want to select the details, this is our address. And then <clears throat> as you saw in the previous screen, the business purpose is automatically built to. Okay, since we did that in the in the first screen itself. So now let's see we want to uh, make this as a build to and a ship to both. So as a uh, as you see it's a primary and then I will just add one more record here and that would be the ship to and then I will say I will give a name called IRV ship to I'll make that as primary and here I would select and I'll be able to as a build to location for the ship to and on this flex fields I'll put a packing instruction of PI SI and then uh, yeah let's say I would just tweak in the case pack. This only applies to EMEA, so let's uh, leave them as is. So we'll just print two values and click on save. So now we have a new customer called Zoonberry, which has a, a customer account number called 83325, and it, it has a registry ID. So now let's see if we can query our customer. So now uh, go back to apply. This will take us to our main page. So now let's zoom very. So now in this portion, what we'll do is we will update our customer master. So here you find your customer, then you click on it, it will pop you up with the customer details, okay. So now you see our address is there and then it has details and then again in the business purpose. I'm going to go to my ship to I am going to uh, click on the details of the ship to and now I'm going to put in uh, a salesperson let's put in the order type I'm going to put in an order type here standard So standard order and freight FOB is let's look at the lookup and so let's go and then I'm presenting origin as by FOB and then I'm going to <coughs> select a warehouse of Indiana Logistics. that ship method so whatever I select here will be used for defaulting when you create a new order for this customer using this uh, ship to and uh, let's select UPS CIP 
And then you can select additional field like demand class. If you group your ship to sites based on demand classes, then you can say arrival set or ship set if you want all the lines for this ship to to be shipped in like ship sets. You can select that. Let's put in the price list so that that's good defaulted when the customer is uh, when the order is created for that customer. MSRP as a price list and click on apply. So all these changes have been saved. For the bill to let's go to the details. So on the bill to if you want you can do the same uh, things. You can put in your revenue account, tax account, put I think uh, all that's not required because our auto invoice uh, calculates everything so we can skip those details and then you don't typically need everything uh, in this area for the build to but in this case let's just put in Indiana warehouse just to make sure that we always ship from Indiana and click on apply well that's what's required and then for this build to what we can do is we can select uh, Profiles. So these are the collectors. So we can select uh, let's pick something else. I'm looking for something US centric. But you know what in this case let's just leave. Let's just leave the default. Let's just leave the default on this one. And then uh, I want it to be credit checked. And then uh, <coughs> pretty much those two things are required for your credit checking things to happen. And do you want to send dunning letters? I would want to send dunning letters. Do you want to send, want to send statements? Select that. Then let's select profile. So credit limit. Let's give it hundred thousand dollar credit limit and order credit limit. Is the same thing. So this is our uh, credit profile. And I'll just click on save. Oops, so it's missing some value. So what for this demo is not uh if you say dunning letters then we will say specify the set. So let's just leave it for now. And uh, this is what you would do to set up the credit profile. So to see the site, it is all this address and the site details. And in the business purposes, you would see if this site is a build to or ship to. And for the details on the build to or ship to, you would click this details icon on the uh, location name. Okay. So let's. And go and apply. Let's so it will take us back to the original page, and then apply will take us back to the main page. So now, if you want to go ahead and uh, later, if you want to add an address or a 
to this one. You can uh, create a customer again like this. Click here. It will show you the details of the customer. Go back to account and then you can do a create site. And then you can do a create address basically. And then you can enter all the information here. So this would go ahead and create a new site. And that time you can select the let's do one for this demo purposes, let's say fifty one aviation. Fifty six aviation again I'll pick a city of Arawine. C A nine two six one eight. This is not an identifying address. So let's not select anything on the flex fields. I'll select this as a ship to and then we will use uh, I'm I'm just going to put our wine two and the build to location is IRV. Oops, what just happened? Try one more time. Fifty six aviation. Arvine C A nine two six one eight. And then let's keep it as a build to IRV build to. And then click on finish. So it's popular county. This is a, this is what I wanted to show you earlier. So then it will give you suggestions, and we can select C A Arvine Orange, and it will pick that as a county, and then click on finish. So that's how we have created a new site. So if we go, let's copy this number 83325, let's go back to our main page and let's query the customer again and now let's go and click this one. Now you'll see two addresses and then you can again go into that individual address by clicking on details. and. You can add a new ship to to it, or uh, update any of the other attributes. So this is it, guys. So thanks for uh, watching the video. So I hope you um, gathered some information on how to create and manage a customer standard in the new Oracle Artwell. Thank you.